Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the on the camera, and we are at the Peterson Museum. And basically, Jolene's having a hard time to get me going here because I keep running from car to car to take a look at things. We're just getting in here, but uh, we're going to start with this one. And I would say this is more of an art car than than anything, but uh, it's quite something else, that's for sure. I would love to be able to take the time um, to build something like that. And, and the only reason I don't is because of the time it takes to build everything, you know. When you build a car or something like that, basically you'll probably be starting with the chassis, but uh, it's quite something else. Just love it. And uh, I guess maybe I was talking about, you know, pushing the limit with things and, and, and uh, you know, and this would be doing it. Just gorgeous. Love the wheel wells, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, who makes a wheel well like that nowadays? Who has the, they open the door up here on the front fender and open the door? That's what I'm guessing. Oh, rod like that in Australia. Steering's on the right side. Just the exhaust coming underneath the fender skirts and the, and the fins that's made on the side. Wow. The glass. Something else. Quite something else. <laughs> Looks like it has radiators in the front holes here. I'm not sure if there's two small holes on the front or the lights on it or not, but there's two radiators in the front and two louvers. Check it out. It needs three window wipers. And let's take another look at it. Look how wide the body is compared to the roof. We have a roof at home um, that I would like to put on something. And it's been sitting out there for quite a while, but you can see where I'm going. Where, this is what I like to do with that roof. I put it on a bigger car than it deserves and then build the car to the roof. I don't know if I should get away from this car or not, but it's quite something else. Very, 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 very inspiring. Very inspiring. I'm just going to cruise along here and take a look at it because I can come back and look at it again when Joey shuts the camera off. Yes, we can. We, we're going to be here for a few days. Look at this thing. Like, I just so badly want to build something like this. It's awesome. Looks like the 60 Chrysler taillights. Huh? They would call that aerodynamic, would they not? Must have the engine. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That's quite something else. Love it. You can see all this stuff here. I mean, if you want to get artsy fartsy and, and do that sort of stuff, um, you can do it out of metal, obviously, and bend it and shape it and polish it and get it chromed or whatever. But you also could use that bad Chad flexible chrome on that stuff too if you want to do a nice job on it. That is so cool. So cool. Let's go over here. We'll get these three over here. This is quite something else. Oh, I like that. It's pretty. See something I like already. I want to. No, I want to. I like it. I like how a lot of a lot of cars have have that pipe coming out. A lot of just even custom cars from the 50s have that one single pipe cut out. They're like that. Sometimes they French it. Sometimes they don't. But you can see how they made this aluminum cover over top of that, which really makes that look good, don't it? Yeah. It does. Love it. Love it. Absolutely love it. Got some louvers on the side. Got some beautiful interior in it. Oh, that's cool. Look how they did in the interior. The hand, the hand, oh, wow. the armrest goes through the door with the armrest on the door. That's cool. Man, I'm like a grass armored chicken house. I'm, I didn't think I was going to get this excited, but I am. This is nice. Just amazing. That is one cool car. You know, just a piece of chrome across the back. Chrome down the taillights. Taillights are inside here. Beautiful. And a door handle, pressing it pop out, and I'm sure that would pop out like that. Your door handle.
Got the Chrysler 300 grill in it, but kind of lean forward, you know, the Chrysler 300. Is nice. Nice. Never seen this car before. I have seen that before, I think. And I have seen, the, no, I've seen the, the blue one that we've seen first, the orange and gray one I've never seen before, but I have seen it in magazines and pictures. Pictures on the wall are very um, inspiring. You can see how the second car from the right on the top has the headlight stuck out. Yeah. Pretty cool. How you doing? Not bad. This is quite something else. Huh? That's pretty enough for you in the join. Yeah. Huh? What is that called? La Salle number two. I'm not sure if it would be. Not sure. Like how the pipe comes out. Man, look at this thing, would you? Man, I gotta build you another car. Wow. Just finish the first one, hadn't I? Look at this thing here, would you? That's, that's cool. That is so cool. It's got Cadillac hubcaps on it. I th not Cadillac, Corvette hubcaps on it, I think. That is so cool. I'm thinking this is sort of a race car of somewhat, or maybe, it hasn't got no windows in the side or anything like that. I'm thinking that the glass in the car is um, plexi, I'm thinking. Um, that's, that doesn't matter to me. I just wanted to let everybody know that um, everything doesn't have to be what you think it should be. It can be whatever it wants to be, whoever's building it. You know what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. If we take a look, on, take a look on, on the side of the car, see that shape right there? How would you make that shape, sweetheart? Round rod. You, man, I love you. <laughs> to make that shape on the side of your car, see that shape going over the wheel well there, you would take that, a piece of round rod, you would weld it to your car, and then, then you would shape it with the grinder, and then you could fill it out to make it like it's raised off the car, which they probably have done. I'm not sure if it's a glass car, metal car, but I'm not sure. But it is quite something else, very inspiring. It so just short. What's that? It's so low to the ground. Hmm. It opens, what can I say? It opens the brain to different and new things is what it does. And uh, it's quite something else. Beautiful. Did you see the third car down on the wall there? See how the headlights are poked way out yeah. like our 50? Yep. Cool. Let's just take a walk over here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what this car is yet until I go around the front. Not sure if that's a Carson top or what's going on. No, I'm thinking that's a, a vinyl top, a padded vinyl top. You can see how it's got the, the chrome going across here with two screws in it. I like the stainless going along here. I like that with the black in it. How you doing? It is a Cadillac. I like the bumpers with the flare up on the end. I like the flying lady. The interior is actually gorgeous. Yeah, look at this. This is a 41 and they got the, the window, a three win like a split window uh, rear in it, which is really cool in the back, almost like a 50 Merc or 49 or whatever. Beautiful, gorgeous. Cadillac LaSalle, Don Lee Cadillac LaSalle, beautiful. Let's go over to this one here. We've got a red Hudson Terraplane truck. And I'm going to show you a few things on this bad boy. Uh, I'm going to see what year it is. There's a thing over here that tells me what year it is. It is a 34 
Hudson Terraplane. We are working on a 36 Hudson Terraplane, four-door car that we've chopped and we're changing the engine because we want to drive it. Take a look at this. I did a four-door car and turned it into a truck. And one of the biggest biggest issues that everybody thought I would have would be making the cab corners and making the back. Well, I can make a cab corner look like that. <laughs> That's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. And the reason I say that, because it doesn't have to be the way you think it has to be. It can be that way. <laughs> right? Beautiful. And just, just the, the lean of the roof. The roof is lean like that. It's kind of mad dogging, which is really cool. We, we've got that on our Dodge truck pretty good. we got a square corner on top of the door. And I like that anybody could build the back of this truck. If you come down here, the back of that truck is just as flat as could be. So if you want it to, um, if you had an older truck or an older car you're making into a truck, you could take and cut the back off. You could make that panel that wraps around as the corner here, mail slot window in the back of it. Basic stuff, basic stuff. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. The box looks pretty basic. Bend straight up. Uh, this, this didn't even have a shape here to it. This shape here is drawn on it because it's just a piece of plate. Same as the front, just a piece of plate. And I really enjoy the red with the burgundy. Really nice. The bed looks very big in this truck. And uh, just, like it looks wide, does it not? Yeah, it does. It looks wide and big. And it's a terraplane. Oh, look at these. Huh? Oh, cool. cool. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Like this sort of stuff. I mean, it's got a, a 90, two holes drilled in it, and a pin in it. That's it. It's over. That's how basic it is, and that's how basic it, it can be if you want it to be. Got the cutouts for the wheels. Does it have dual cutouts? Nope, just one. I like the hood emblem on it. Quite something else. Fantastic. Never seen a truck like it in my life. Fantastic. We're gonna go this way because my I'm attracted to this. Not sure what to say yet. I don't know if there's a fender, fender skirt there. There's a fender skirt there, obviously, for that to come off. Huh, it must be like straight across. Love the color. Yeah. Love the color. I'm not sure. What am I not sure of? How am I going to build all these cars? <laughs> That's just what I want to do. Look at the window on it. The window is just gorgeous. Like to, to take the time. And basically, what I'm thinking is all the shape down here would be cut out of flat steel but you'd ha just have to cut it so it was in that shape you'd want a pattern for it look at that bad boy now would you a 52 fagol mm -hmm. i gotta walk around the other side and take more look the bumper well wow. chrome plated quarter inch steel <whistles> hickory dickory dock and it looks to me like it has a 40s Oldsmobile or grill in it. I'm not sure. Looks like a Chevy eyebrow light on the lights. The colors are fantastic. I keep saying that. I love the fin. I'm not sure what the taillights are off of. Oldsmobile maybe. Nice. Or looks something similar to it. And it is made for, I would say, two people. Two people get in that comfortably. I like how they did the material work around the outside there for someone jumping in that car. I'm not sure what would be happening. They'd probably have a, maybe a little step stool or something and they would whatever, or chuck <laughs> them in like that, whatever it took. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Which way you wanna go? Doesn't matter? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's go this way. Amazing. It is quite, well, I guess I guess it looks long in the front end, which it is long in the front end, just because the, the window's back so far. The doors are not in there, so you, you really wouldn't be able to, you know. A Jeepster. Yeah, 
It's just cool. That would be just cool to drive around, would it not? Mm -hmm. A Jeepster. Everybody likes Jeeps. <coughs> oh, it's good. Fancy. Got some chrome strips in the back, spare tire. Not sure if that back window's. Are. Nope. <laughs> Look how this comes down like this and then cuts off like that. Yeah. Pretty neat. Pretty darn neat. The Jeepster. It rusts up where you're from, right? Everything rusts where I'm from. <laughs> Everything. That's that's your style right there. Oh right man, there. I love that. Isn't that yeah, beautiful? yeah, it is beautiful. Yeah. Did I you see. did you see the cab corners on it? Yeah. Have yeah. the cab corners come down straight and the door tucks in? It's kind of weird, eh? It was so it's, neat. It's 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 just beautiful. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Right. It is. Are you having fun? Oh yeah. Happy birthday to this guy. Yeah. He's fifty. <laughs> I'll tell people that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm 52, so. Yeah, it's cool. I'm just going to point at it. I know that, that's cool. That's all that is. That's just cool. We'll take a walk over here. And we have some. Is that a. Did I say Mazda? I guess so. Look at that now, would you? That's nice something. Never seen anything like it. Never seen anything like it. Never. I've never seen anything like it. It's pretty dang cool, that's for sure. Looks like something you'd buy Zellers for your kid, wouldn't it? Huh? Yeah. With a battery operated motor, you know, operated motor in it. Corvette, can't go wrong with those. I did not know. I never noticed that it had these little fins in the back. It's nice. If a feller only had the ability to get all the little tiny chrome pieces and all that stuff to use on anything, it would be nice, wouldn't it? Get some nice stuff on it. We'll continue over this way. There, there's the future. There's the future. Citron. Guys, come on. Seen any colors that you like? Good. Some different stuff. Just curb the, the imagination. Manifolds, radios, records. Looks like it has a 40, 37 Ford front fender with the headlight. Just the front fender with the headlight. Must be the trunk. And there's the fins to get her going. <laughs> nice color. Really nice color. I have something going off. Pushing the limits. That thing. It is called the what? Aeromobile. You wouldn't think that would have a lot of stability in the back, but who am I to say? I don't know. Cool. Wow. Look at that, would you? That's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Look at the little fin on the back. Don't you think your Bugatti hauler would belong here when it's done? Could sell. Could sell. Look at this bad boy. That's amazing. There's that big chain that uh, Mike was talking about. See how the chain link's bigger? Imagine driving that down through canning. Awesome. One of my favorite cars, the 
Phantom Corsair. Healy Nash, or Nash Healy, or I guess it's called. From what I understand, this could be the first sports car. Looks like it's got like Lincoln Zephyr taillights on it almost. This is pretty cool. Some hood ornaments, some dash implements. The lady with her head bent, like almost bent back, is cool. Awesome. We'll come this way and look at this side of this car here a little bit better. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. I like that the running board is not connected to the fender. Not connected to the fender. I like this and that and that. It's nice. Look, it's even got a hinge up here and then down there. Even the hinges look good, you know? Even the hinges look good. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. Look at the wood on top of the on top of the door. See the wood on top of the door going across there? How it comes down? So unfortunately the real one is in Germany. It's beautiful. Milestones of the tire. So in all honesty, everything that we you see, like if you see something on the computer, someone made a tire, I'm sure it's all been done before, you know. As I see um, some people trying to make the flatless tire by putting a hole in them like that. That's already been done before by looks of things. The studded winter tire looks like it's already been done. <laughs> huh? That's quite a tire. Red line tire is pretty cool. The BF Goodrich was was a big tire at my in my age. Look at this tire. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. The illuminated tire. Um, the Golden Sierra had the illuminated tire on it. That's cool. <laughs> you think you, you think you got a big rim? <laughs> Look at the size of that one. Well, that's nice. I like that. That's so cool. The U.S. Royal Master. She's a 15-inch four-ply. I like that, too. Let me check that out, it's nice. I like the Firestone too, that's cool. Oh, Ford even made a tire. Or has a tire with a name on it. American Classic. I think we have them on one of our cars, American Classics. All right, we have a, we have a Camaro from Canning. <laughs> I'm not sure what the Camaro's about. Must have been a movie or maybe something. First Transformer film is what it's in. Cool. They're both Bumblebee. What? Yeah, they're both Bumblebee. They're both Bumblebee. This is my favorite. Better get going. Well, it's a At least he's got the names right. <laughs> Nice little Porsche. You like that one, sweetheart? You like that one? Little convertible Ford Falcon. That's a nice color with a nice color interior. I enjoy that. I like I like a black car 
black rims, hubcaps. I like it every time. It doesn't matter what car it's on. It has a good potential to me. Ridden in on 80 Sunday Night Sailor. Bruce Brown, 71 documentary. Husker Varner. You know, you think they only made chainsaws? And they have a little protector for the gonads. Huh? What do you think, baby? Huh? Girls get a maxi pad in the back, the boys get a, a nut saver in the front. Huh? 427 Cobra, wow. Just imagine. Nice. The power that thing would have, you know? Like just a small little car like that with a 427 in it. Quite something. See how it's got the small little headlights on it? I think that's where we're going. Small headlights. I want to check this out. Everybody always likes grad signs. That's nice. I've never seen that before. I've never seen them before. Beautiful. Grad signs are becoming a Quite a commodity amongst car people, that's for sure. And we have the Batmobile. Quite an imagination, honestly, to come up with something like this. Quite imagination. Look at the wiper. See how the wiper works? runs along the the rod and goes back and forth if it works or not i'm not sure but and another one i think that's plexi i think then that one because you can just tell it you know after a while many years of abuse and stuff like that we have the lincoln back there we kind of sort of walk by that because we're looking at the cobra everybody likes the lincoln that's for sure 1963 And we have Christine, one of my, I guess one of my favorite 60s automobiles, that's for sure. We was looking at a 60 Fury. Uh, this is 57 or, what? 58. 58? 58, I think 57, 58 looks pretty, pretty near identical. Love it, love it. I think I have outside in the in the in my junkyard. I have some metal panels there, and I think I have the eyebrows to fix a, a, one of those cars, a Fury. I think I do. Huh. We have a Thunderbird. We're working on a Thunderbird right at that present moment, uh, not this year, uh, the years before it. Um, but I do have. I have the interior, the back seat, see how the back seat wraps around? I do have the interior out of one of these if I ever want to use it. The front seats I have in Elvis and the back seats I have outdoors. You can see how the seat comes around, has a little console coming down through the middle. Really cool. Now, BMW has made a, a car you can see into. We did the exact same thing, a little less, uh, what can I say, a little less of time and money no doubt in my mind but there's some wild stuff going on there with the wheels not sure what this does not sure what that does I like how I like this how the, how the wheel this goes all the way around the wheel from there all the way around to the front you know front of the wheel looks good Who, who's that on um, what's the what's the show the cars that was what was this? What was this little guy called? On cars. I'm not sure. I'll get it after a while. Carbon fiber motorcycle. How much does it weigh? That means a lot when it comes to weight, does it not? I'm not saying the weight, I don't see it. I bet you it's pretty light with all the carbon fiber on it. Uh, Guido? Was it Guido? I think it was Guido, maybe. We have the cars. Car. It's cool. Is that lightning? Let's size the tires on that. 
Huh? Yeah. What size are they? Can't tell you. I'm not sure if that car runs or if it don't run, I'm not sure, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. We was at that track, was we not? No. Which one's that? Internet in Los Angeles. No, we wasn't at that track. Mind you, if Daytona somewhat, does it not? Let's take a walk over towards, there's a model layer over here, and then we'll go down to the next layer. <laughs> we didn't get to, to look at the little red car over there. But that little car over there, wow. I'm not sure if they would paint these cars that color when they were new or not. More Model T, 45 miles an hour top speed, 20 horsepower. Number built 68,600 some. Price with new was $495. I'd give them $495 for it. Wouldn't you? Sure would. Let's take a walk down. I hope, I'm hoping that the next level is just as inspiring as this level, which I think it probably will be. Oh, the last couple places we've we've seen a couple mystery machines, have we not? Huh? We've seen a couple mystery machines. I'm thinking it's a a Porsche month here. I'm thinking there's a lot of Porsches. Let's go in this way first, and then we'll go around the Porsches. Okay? We'll get to see a lot of Porsches in the end. We got a fifty forty nine Merc. I'm not sure if that's Cobra. The movie I'm talking about. Yeah, it looks like it. S S Sylvester Stallone um, was driving a car that looked like this. I'm not sure what hood scoops on it, but it's badass. There it is, right there. The Mercury stared alongside Sylvester Stallone in Cobra. Man, I wasn't far off, was I? Huh? And we have a Cobra. Gone in 60 seconds, that's what started that all with the louver kit or the package on the bottom and the package down the side. And the mystery machine. Cool. Well done. This car right over here. We're gonna go take a look at our car over here. What is this thing? Ducati Monster, 1100 Moto Terminator. What must be in the Terminator movie? It's quite something else, isn't it? It's quite something else. I want to go over and take a look at this car. This is kind of my my flavor. I like that. Thirty-two Ford Flathead Roadster. I like the pinstriping on the on the frame. I like what they did to the headers. That's cool. How they put that little web in there. That's cool. The dash is cool. I like the gold paint with the burgundy inside with the trim ring separating uh, the wheels. Yeah, that's cool. I love. I like that. I really like that. And we have a, I don't know, to be honest, I really don't know. Driven in Too Fast Furious. Too Furious. That's what I was going to say, but I wasn't for sure. Not sure if they both were. Die Another Day. That's a Jaguar, sweetheart. Cool. Got a big gun in the back. I don't know what they say, you drew that to the minus or not. I'm not sure if somebody called the mammies on you or not. <laughs> got a gun in the back oh, Whoa! look over there eh? let's go over there let's do it 
Look at this now, would you? Wow. So cool. That stuff make you, that to me that this sort of stuff here, seeing this sort of stuff, would make you speechless because you know when when do you get to see it? Where do you get to see it? And um, you really have to, I don't know. Like, hats off to the people that built it. Beautiful. It's got a Cadillac emblem on it, but it might. It's, it says Gia, so I'm thinking Gia made the body, maybe, uh, and for Cadillac, maybe, could be. Just have to go around the whole thing, that's all. Look at the back window in it. I didn't really notice that. The back window starts from the, yeah. the back of there all the way around to the other side. It's got a split in the center there. I see it might, it might stop there, maybe. Very nice, very nice. The e Plymouth Explorer. I'm wondering, like, were the letters made to go that way, or is it just? I think it's just you know, the font. Yeah. What's that? Yeah, the font of it. The font of it, yeah. Crazy. You know what I enjoy in that car what? is the white molding going down the side of it. You know, see that yeah. white? You notice that was white? Yeah. Nice white molding going down the side of it. Look at the wheel well. If I made a wheel like that, wheel well like that, someone would think I was crazy, <laughs> wouldn't they? I'm gonna cut her straight up and go that way. They cut her back, went that way. What do you think going on here? That's not French, does it? Well, that now, would you? It looks like a piece of round rod. Yeah. Piece of metal coming down to it. Cool. I'm not that crazy then, am I? Yeah. All the way along the back. Nice. Same thing. Exact same thing on this side, obviously. And if, like, if you want to put a, a a trim on your door or something like that, I mean, 45, a 45, and a flat 90, well, to the side of your door, and then put your trim on top of it. You know, run it up to the front if you want to. Cut a hole in it like they did. Front bumper. Yeah. Got a piece on the front bumper. Huh? You know what I'm going to say? Ours is a little closer and tighter. <laughs> but, I mean, that's beautiful. I can't, I can't say anything about that. Let's go over this one. What is this? It's, I, I guess the F means Fina, Fina Perina or whatever. I'm not sure what that means. Door handle on it. Probably the same kind of car as the one upstairs with the door handle. Mm -hmm. Got the signal lights on the side. I like the pry crust white letter tire, white wall tires. Love them. Awesome. No, I'm just walking around doing a little video of them and, and getting, getting inspired from it. It's awesome. I will, thank you. You got a little pan going around the back. And to me, I see bad chad flexible chrome on that little pan. But, you know, if you're making something. Just looking at it. usually tell by how thick a dark car door is you know if you look at something you can tell what's going on gorgeous inside absolutely gorgeous nice chrome handles to shut the door I like the hubcaps I like everything about it everything beautiful we've seen this one before have we not yeah I'm looking at the motorcycles and looking at the car at the same time. I don't know what to say about this car other than, I don't know. It's stunning, absolutely stunning, like, stunning. 
I'm not sure if this, like, I mean, you got to start somewhere with the chrome. Uh, are you start? Are you are you starting with a soft brass? Are you starting off with some other material? But to make that chrome, you know, fit that like that and run down the side and that big piece up and around where your back fender is, you have to start with some kind of material. I'm thinking it's brass. I'm, that's what I'm thinking. It could be it could be my belly button. I'm not sure, but that'd be quite a piece of material to shape. Also, looking at, look at that, we've seen this before with the headlight grate. That's absolutely stunning, the amount of work it would take to get something like that. But you can see how, see the shape of the fender coming around like that? Mm -hmm. Coming in, and then it goes straight along there, you can see that shape. It's not just straight going down the sides, it's got shape. The wood, the interior is over the top over the top I'm not sure sure what's going on I'm not sure what's going on there with the teeth I'm thinking the window might run up in them teeth maybe I'm not sure absolutely stunning that piece of right there what what would that take to make that Whew. hickory dickory dock what huh? and to make that make that like mm -hmm. Look at this thing, eh? I've seen on the internet, um, and you know everything on the internet's true, <laughs> but I've seen on the internet, well this was in a junkyard maybe, and it was white or something like that, and uh, look at the window on that bad boy, would you? Insane. Huh? Who would ever thunk to open it that way? Yeah. It's huge, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's absolutely huge. Like the car is really big. Nice fitment. See round rod fender skirts? <laughs> I'm just joking. I have no idea how they made their fender skirts. The fin in the back. Louvers. And the louvers. We wouldn't put louvers in our car though. No. no. Quite something else. Let's look at this sucker. One thing I will say about these cars, everything has got big wheel, like the big wheels on this, is there not? Like I'm not sure what streets these were driven on, but the, the wheels are massive. What's the size of those wheels on this bad boy? Uh, they're at 650, 720, so there's 20s on that. <laughs> got your fender skirts on, you don't want to fall them off, you just turn your little tab over. Who would ever thunk to put a gas cap right there? There it is. The windows in this thing, the windows in this thing are around this way and around this way on the side windows. And they look like they roll up because they got a little hinge at the top. Okay. Awesome. You could go through the drive through in this one. Love it. You can get the, on, at Speedway Motors, you can get these, these hubcaps um, like this, they're not 20s, but you can get the hubcaps that resemble that without, um, uh, this car is from Paris, I would say, it's written right on it. Top speed is 160 miles an hour. Eight liter inline six cylinder. Number built, one. Oh. We have a few of those cars, just one built, don't we? Yep. Hmm. The essential hot rod, the essential hot rod. Basically, that's what's going on there. The essential hot rod. Beautiful. If you like red, that's the one for you. If you like red, I would say it's the 32. And they don't like louvers either. I'm only kidding. I'm only teasing. I want to go, let's go over this one. The stainless on, or the chrome on that. 
I would like to know exactly how it's done. Look at the dash in it. Dash is fantastic. Dash is fantastic. Mm -hmm. The paint is fantastic. Is that maroon or burgundy? Burgundy. That's burgundy? Yeah, it's more purple than that. Okay. Just the, the little lights on there like that. The chrome piece right here. That chrome piece right there in the back. Yeah. Like to make that. Mm -hmm. seems, seems to be... Oh, these are cool. These are cool. Are they wood? They're cool though, aren't they? I put them in my tour collection. I wonder if we can get them out of here. See, in this sort of stuff right here, looking on the wall, like I've never seen, like the pictures that you see here, uh, I probably have never seen any of them before. But how inspiring are they? Look at this bad boy up here, would you? Huh? Crazy. It's quite something what comes out of someone's brain. Yeah. And then it's another thing to take it from that to that. <laughs> and what happens is when you look at stuff like this, what I look at is the small things, what I can take from it. That's basically it. I'm not looking, I'm, I'm going to build that car. But there might be something from that car that I want to take. <laughs> Step comes down, cool. door goes up. Cool. That's cool. Like that. This thing right here is just awesome. Like, I don't know what to say with that. That's just awesome. Just awesome. I like this. And then, you know, I just like it. It's awesome. See how they done the exhaust on that one? They made a, I'm gonna, yeah, I like that. I like it. This car here reminds me of Russ. From Ontario, Russ has passed. The guy, man, we in Ontario, we went to see his collection. We went to a car show in northern Ontario. Yeah. Was Thunder Bay, was yeah. it? Thunder Bay. And we, uh, what, we got to meet a man named Russ, and Russ built himself a car just like this. I'm not sure if we did a video or not, me driving around with Russ on the car. Um, but Russ has passed lately, and um, rest in peace, Russ. You were a fantastic guest, or not a guest, but a host. Um, I was the guest, I guess, mm -hmm. and you were the house, but he built a car or something like this, and uh, it's cool. We have a chance to build something like this from the chassis that we bought, got from um, Jimbo, and Jimbo was nice enough to pass it on to us because I, I would like to do something with it, but this is basically something that I would like to, to fabricate. The two seats, the hood, the dash, Maybe a couple fenders. Like the you know, paint the wheels up so they're really cool like that. And they got the wooden wheels, spoke wheels on just like this. This is a Mercer. And we have a Stude. Now to me, um, it's not, not so much like it's like the attractivity of what's going on there. It's more of the history and the thought of being in there in that time. Basically is what where I'm at with that car. It's, it's kind of, yeah, it's not, it's not something like the, the blue Bugatti over there. This is something way before that. This is where it all started. Um, this is where you, I'm inspired by just looking at it um, to have something so simple and simplistic as that. And I say simple and simplistic and it's nowhere near that probably, but it does look that way compared to the rest. Just with the fenders, you can see the seats and all that sort of stuff. The the brass and the and the whatever on it is amazing. I like it. Looks good. Fantastic. Alrighty, want we'll to go back over to the thing and we'll come out to the motorcycles after. You want to do the motorcycles now? Okay. I was looking when I was looking at the Bugatti. I, I seen the three pipes, and it's got the 750 Benali, I guess. It's, must be a six cylinder. We have six pipes on it, I guess. Let's go and see. Yeah, 
It is a six cylinder. We do not have one. We do not have one. It's beautiful. I like this. Cut it on the pipe. 1928 Indian Scout. A Triumph Speedster. It's a nice little display. Nice little display of motorcycles. Motorcycles are going up, and the reason I'll say that is because um, it's like everything else, give them a little bit of time, and uh, Jawa, we have a Jawa. Yeah. Don't look like that, but we got one. Norton. I enjoy them, I like looking at them. I think they're great. I like the, I like the steering wheel, or the, steer, the handlebars on that one, handlebars on this one, kind of down, you know? I like them down more than up. We tried to buy one of those a while back, did we not? And uh, it was quite an occasion, wasn't it? Ah, I remember that? Mm -hmm. GSXR 750 limited edition, that's beautiful, I love the colors on it. I love that. Colors of that. Huh? Baby. Can I say that? And look at that. Baby. I'm telling you. Well, wow. Nice. Love the colors. All right. Look at this thing, would you? Huh? I didn't know they made such a thing as a, as a, as a Safari Porsche. Cut holes in the bumper and the whole bit they did. Huh. Pretty cool. Looks good, don't it? Mm -hmm. Screws. Mm -hmm. This like, is the land of the Porsche? I like that silver one. Huh? I like the silver one. You like this one? Mm -hmm. Remember? We'll talk about that here in a second. Look, this buck here for this Porsche. I wonder how much time there would be in making that. I don't know. Like the color on that? You like the color on that, sweetheart? Looks like a real good, um, okay. what do you call that? Traditional. Traditional color. The traditional color. Jolene likes this one. Um, I'm thinking that we were at a museum by the Peterson and there was a buck there. It was a it was, remember it had a, a wooden buck there? And it wasn't like that, empty. It was one big piece of hardwood. Remember that? Yeah. It was for sale for $5,000 or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I think it built these. This is the car that, I'm not sure. Which one is it that James Dean that didn't one? have a good time with? I'm not sure. That one over there. That one? This one? Yeah, this is like a one-off thing. Hmm. Not sure. I'm sure whoever's watching will let me know. Almost like they... Yeah. Bruce Jennings. Huh. Nice. Ah. You tape the weights on. If you like Porsche, right now the Peterson's for you. If you like Porsche. We love Porsche, just we don't own one. Jolene wants one. I want to take a look at this here in a second. Gorgeous. I, I don't think you can beat the styling of a Porsche, really, can you? Like, it's really hard to beat the, the, the roundness of a Porsche. Let's go look at this bad boy. It has some repair done to, to it, and I like looking at repairs. You can see how this car was made. 
down through the middle. You can see where it was welded up. Watch yourself there, Smith. You can see down through the middle where it was welded up. You can see the circle that it welded up. You can see where the fenders were welded on. Pretty nice, pretty cool. A nice example of what something would look like if you were building something from nothing. Must may, maybe had some front end damage, not sure. But you can see where they've got the wel lights welded up in it. You can see how they actually put the lights in it from the first time. You can see the, the light, the, the marks in it where they cut it to make it work. You can see one, two, three, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. They What's that? It. They, they were shrinking it to, to make it work. Like, I'm not sure if that piece there, it has a piece going around there that has a piece drawn through the middle of it. I'm not sure if they shrunk that piece and it was too big before they put it in or if they put it in two pieces, I'm not sure. Also the same with this piece right here. All the way around like that and then one across like that. Was it, was it necessary or was it whatever? Pretty cool though. I like its honesty. And the reason it's honest because it hasn't got its clothes on. Now, to make that look like that, or any of these cars in here, you have to cover the whole thing. That's the end of it. It says die hard. I don't think it'd be too hard in that, would it? It had the motorsport history of the giant color, the racing game, before that thing was designed. So I love that car, and so I found it. It's hard to imagine that's a Porsche, but it is, you know? That was nice back there, I like that, I like the gray color. It's nice to watch these little things on the TV if you've got time to watch them and uh, listen and, and you can learn a bunch of stuff what's going on, but they're obviously a part of the Porsche clan. And we have Sally. There's me and Jolene where we were last time we were here. <laughs> you know, that's not true because I got hair. <laughs> well, maybe last time I did have hair, didn't I? Well, that now, would you? Huh? Wheels are... F doesn't it seem funny, eh? The wheel way back here and that open way up in the front. You see how that's way back there? Did you notice that? I took notice that real quick, to be honest with you. Like, whoa, what's going on? But it is, look at the tail on that, would you? Huh? That's a tail. Isn't that something now? That is Porsche Lucasfilm Tri-Wing S91X Pegasus Starfighter. Okay. That's what it is. 2013 Porsche. That's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> Baby. I'm wondering, is the bumper falling off or is that the way it's supposed to be? Oh, someone's not very happy. <laughs> the oh, they bang the, bu the bumpers coming down. You, as you can see on one side, how it's nice and, well, it's tighter. But you can see on this side that it got looser and that it's just maybe a plastic clip or something, right? Mm -hmm. Basically. Beautiful. Love the colors on it. What would you call that? A rose? Yeah, rose gold. Beautiful colors. Green. What's this one? I don't know. Is this Slash's car? No slash owns a Porsche, though, I guess. Um, 911 Turbo S. Five hundred and fifty-two horsepower. Yabba 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 do. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Huh? Love to have that hanging in our place. It's awesome. That's cool. Where the gas tank is? Where is it? 
in the back. It's in the center of the hood. Gas oh, cap. Oh, okay. That's what it looks like to me, center of the gallery, right in the middle of the hood. Hmm. Different, eh? Yeah, different. Think of the engine being in the front, the engine in the back, and Porsche, eh? Yeah. Like, like what we're driving. Well, I've never seen that before in my life. Absolutely. i got to go over and take a look at this. Wow. Never seen this before in my life. Someone must have made it, no doubt. It's a custom. Wow. They're probably, I'm not sure what they're thinking right at the present moment. What are you thinking? It's just cool. I understand that, but to cut one in half and make a four door? What you thinking? It's crazy. Thinking maybe they shouldn't have done that? <laughs> it is what it is, isn't it? There's all kinds of cars out there, man. Crazy. Wow. What's that? It's just patina. Okay, cool. Pantina. Yeah, I washed my hair this morning. It's nice. Just, you, you gotta like the shape, eh? Shape is so amazing. This one has got um, some tires on it to go racing. My grandfather was asked to take over the body shop at a new Porsche dealership in Newport Beach, California. So that's how, I guess, my family legacy made a shift from American hot rods and custom cars to the Porsche world. You know, learning how to, how to build cars, learning how to work on cars, that. and then learning how to race. Could sit and watch that all day. Be a nice program for TV. Yeah. You don't have to watch. Sit down and watch. The car that's probably different. Yeah. Just a, a body kit, I would say. Mm -hmm. You know, they haven't got. Um, they might have Janis Joplin's Porsche here. I'm not sure, but that one had flowers all over. Remember? Yeah. This sort of reminds me of that one. Yeah. Imagine the time it would take you to tape that off. It's crazy. Jolene says nope. Not taking it off for you. Cool. Seems to be like a futuristic, maybe. It's crazy. It's pretty cool, though. It? It's pretty cool. Look I like the piece of art on the wall. Piece of art on the wall. Was it the Porsche? Mm -hmm. See the art on the wall? It's pretty cool, eh? <laughs> Look at this bad boy, eh? Huh? You just never know, do you? Porsche snowmobile. A couple Porsche race cars. It's nice too because each between, behind each car, each car, things is going on. They've got a TV telling you what's going on, who built them, whatever, so forth and so on. We have we have uh, some TV cars. We have the Back to the Future, Starsky's and Hutch, Starkey and Hutch, whatever his name, is, Batmobile, and the motorcycle. And we have the Kit car, and then we have Herbie down down for the awesome. Uh, me, uh, Doug, and Nate was talking about this car. Um, this car come up in our conversation when we were doing the 50 Ford, basically. There it is, boys. There it is. And if you want to come here and have, you know, take some time looking around, there's a place here for your kids to play and have fun and learn a little bit more about cars and all that sort of stuff. Fantastic. I think someone needs some milk. We're going down on the third floor, or the first floor. We started on the third floor, we hit the second floor, now we're on the last floor. And I see a Tesla truck. That's cool. See the Tesla four-wheeler? Oh, wow. That's neat. That is neat. 
That is cool. I see on the internet there was a person that was making a Tesla truck, I think, was they not? And they were getting closer to being done. Can't wait to see them finish it. Takes time. Takes time. I think this may be a Tesla, maybe park down here. I'm not sure. I see what's going on. And that's what it be. What? Imagine the, imagine the time to, to hang that and figure that out. Pretty dang cool. Pretty dang cool. Oh, the restoration on that. That, 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 right, that right there is quite something else. They have taken leather and sewn it. I'm not sure what, what it's sewn on, but they have taken leather and sewn that on there for the fenders. Look at the black paint on the chassis. Huh? Like, what, what have they done to the chassis, sweetheart? Filled it. They filled it in. You could, they pretty well had to. You're, there's no chassis in 1908 that come out that smooth and that nice. All right, guys. Also, look at the wood from there all the way up around there. So nice. Fantastic. Tesla? I don't think it's probably that easy to put it together, but there's a lot more components than that, but it looks pretty cool hanging from the sky. I know that. Doesn't it? Yeah. And we have... I'm not sure. Would this be a Porsche too? It'd be a Porsche. Is this a Porsche too? No. AC Pro Polish. An AC Pollution. I don't know. I would, it's a battery car. You can see the batteries down the side down there. It's a battery car. I'm thinking these are mostly battery cars down here. That's the bottom of a car. The underneath of a car, you can see the wheels on the side, how they got a strap and how they painted the bottom of it. Cool. Huh? Quite something else. I guess this would explain to us what's going on or underneath the car. No, in the back of the car. This thing here is a huh? That's a what? A buck. Yes, a buck. Joey said that's a buck. It is, says right on it. I've never ever done that before. Try to make a car from a buck. I don't even think I'd, you know, uh, the time it would take to put into a buck. Seems like it would be time away from the car. All right, now we can see what, what's going on. See the, the twin electric motors in the back. Got the drive gear in the front by the looks of things. And if I'm wrong, let me know. <laughs> um, yeah, you can see that. I would say all the batteries are in the bottom of the car. And on that one, it was in the back of the car. Right on. Look at this thing now. Like it's what? Huh? They did that all for what can be done and why not? Right? That must be the reason why they've done it. Oh, he's won an award. Motor Trend 2013 Car of the Year, Tesla. 2013 Tesla Car of the Year. Mullins family grandson. What's the idea of the roller things here? You, you know what those are for? What are those there? Uh, these 
Yeah. I think they're batteries. That's, that's a battery? Yeah. Oh, right on. All individual batteries. It didn't have door cell written on it. I couldn't tell. Yeah. <laughs> We're just guessing. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Batteries. Crazy. How does electricity? Cool. We'll just take a, a run through the line of the Tesla, I guess. And generally, you can tell a Tesla because of the door handles. Generally, the door handles are inside the car. That's how I can tell or generally notice. Door handles are flush with the car. I'm thinking aerodynamics. Uh, we have a tool over here. Can you imagine? There's the red days. There's the batteries in the back bottom of the car. Look at that now, would you? Remember I said the batteries in the bottom of the car? Mm -hmm. That's how the battery's in the bottom of that car. I thought they were a roller system for something. You know what I mean? Like, they look like rollers, but that's how it goes right there. I wonder if that, that front piece, you can see that front piece right there. It does not look like it's, it might, I guess it, maybe it is aluminum. It looks like it's chewed off aluminum on the front there. It looked like it's chewed off where they cut it off. I was just kind of wondering if they built that on that 3D printer. Because that's what that looks like, that plastic on that 3D printer. But it must not be. Can you imagine the, the brains it took to build that machine to put that together? Huh? Wow. <laughs> Just blows my mind. Here, I'm talking about it. It's right there. Can you imagine? Like that would, can you imagine? Like, it, wow. Looks like our shop. <laughs> Yeah. Not really. I'm thinking different drive gears, obviously. Look at this now, would you? You see the electric motor in there now. I'm guessing, I'm guessing that piece there, the brown piece, would be the brushes on the electric motor. I'm guessing. You can see where it burned on this one. See that one where it burnt? Where the brushes? Yeah, see, just like a a drill or anything like that you have that little piece of metal goes against your your brush uh, which gives it the power and that's basically what's going on there it's quite not that simple but i must i must be honest about the tesla truck when it first came out i was thinking why and now i'm thinking i'm glad you did and the reason being is i like it i think i think it's I think it's quite something else, to be honest with you. Um, and you can understand how the price leaves when you have when you have when you when you have body shapes like this and like this. How easy is it to make a die stamp panel for that compared to that? You know, where that has all the lines in it. It's round. It's got a bunch of creases in it. This is really simplifying the automobile, is it not? That's simplifying it. And uh, I understand what's going on there, but um, it's, it's really amazing, actually, um, with that. It's so cool. Basically, take a four-wheel drive truck frame, four-wheel drive truck frame, take her up a foot in the front with a square stock, run your square stock up to the height that you want it, to basically where, you, where your ass hits the seat, that's where you want to stop that, that uh, square piece, and then you want to run a piece of square stock, right down to the back and have a certain distance that you want for your tailgate and then you'd be off to the races and once you got that tent set up uh, basically after that you could make that thing with i think with a little bit of brains and some ease like how can how, how would you not be the, the the coolest guy around with a tesla truck and a tesla four-wheeler i'm um, showing up and pulling your four-wheeler off and going for a run. So cool. But basically that's what's going on. Um, that took a lot of the, the price out of the truck is not having something that's got a bunch of body lines in it, body moldings and that sort of stuff. And I think it's a fantastic. I think it's fantastic. We've seen the truck outside. Got a look at this thing. something else I don't think I'd want him to squeeze my hand 
I don't think. That's pretty cool, eh? Uh, on the one out front. Oh, well, look at this now, would you? Huh? All the molds, the different molds that they've come up with to make it what they want. And then they chose one, the one that they wanted. And that's so cool. So cool. Thinking right there, they're thinking outside the box. I mean Tesla truck. Not sure where that's going. Ah, is this the thing that sends you across the, the country? What a great idea. Remember I was, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, if you don't use your brain, I'm not sure why you have it, but sometimes I, I, I've been, I've thought of things like, if, if you want to be recognized, like I always said, if you want to be recognized, you have to build something or show somebody something that is different, that could be or whatever. But uh, I live in Canada. Um, we have some of the highest tides in the world where the water goes in and where the water goes out. Um, I was, I've said to Jolene a few times, why do we not build an underground tunnel through Canada all the way from out west all the way to Nova Scotia? When the water comes in, it would shove you over to Vancouver. When the water comes back out, it would pull you through like a syringe back to Nova Scotia. Um, just an idea, and it could be way out there, but if, you know, what can I say? If you don't think about things, sometimes it, it doesn't happen, but um, that's what I was thinking about when I heard about that. This feels like I'm gonna go somewhere. Can I stand in there? No step on remain. Uh, remain below line. Beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> huh? We'll rock her through this way. Excuse me. Some more history of the automobile. I'm not sure where we're going. Oh wow. Is it a movie? Uh, it's an interactive uh, demonstration. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, I guess we'll walk back. What? Wrap it up. Alright, what we'll do is we'll go back out. We'll wrap it up. I'm, I'm thinking this is the history part of it. There you go. Alright everybody, thanks a lot for coming back. I really appreciate it. Um, you come back tomorrow and we'll be here, that's for sure. But we are having a good start to our day. If we want to look right above us, the wiring harness. Wow. Look at that now, would you? I could mess that up. Have a great day, everybody. See you tomorrow. Come on back. We'll be here.